Hey everybody, welcome to my video on integrals by parts. And to start off, I wrote for you the integrals by parts formula at the top of the screen. And I don't want you to stress out about memorizing this formula. I think most of you, uh, once you see this used in an example, uh, will realize that this, this formula actually isn't too bad. So let's get started right away with an example. Uh, let's say we have the integral of x multiplied by e to the x dx. So many of you might ask the question, how am I supposed to know when to use integration by parts? And my answer to your question is, you don't really have a choice. Uh, this is not a basic example in which you could use basic integration. This is not an example in which you could use u substitution. Uh, the only possible method to solve this integral by hand is integration by parts. So moving on with this example, let's go back and take a look at our integration by parts formula. And notice in our formula how we have two parts to the integral. We have f of x and we have g prime of x. So this is our first step to our example. We need to label our f of x and we need to label our g prime of x. So let's start with f of x. Let's label our f of x. And the general rule of thumb is that the derivative of f of x needs to be simpler. So that is a little tip that we could use in order to pick our f of x. So let's say that we picked our x to be our f of x. So f of x is equal to x. The derivative of this needs to be simpler. So let's take the derivative. Our f prime of x is equal to the derivative of x, which is just 1. And 1 is certainly simpler than x, so that's a good indication that we have chosen the correct f of x. So now let's label our g prime of x. If we go back to our example, the only thing we have left is e to the x. So the e to the x has to be our g prime of x. So g prime of x is equal to e to the x. And now that we know what g prime of x is, we can use this to find our g of x. g of x is the integral of g prime. So the integral of e to the x is also e to the x. So now we've actually finished the hardest part, and we just need to plug everything into the formula. So let's start with our f of x. Our f of x is equal to x, so we're going to plug in an x for f of x. Now let's plug in our g of x. Our g of x is equal to e to the x. So we're going to plug in an e to the x for g of x. And this is being subtracted by the integral of f prime of x. f prime of x is equal to 1. So we're going to plug in 1 for f prime of x. And this is being multiplied by g of x. And we know that our g of x is equal to e to the x, so we'll plug in e to the x, and we can't forget to put our dx at the end of the integral. So now let's simplify this a little further. Outside the integral we have x times e to the x, and this is being subtracted by the integral of 1 times e to the x. 1 times e to the x is just e to the x, and we can't forget to put the dx. So notice, now we have an integral that's much simpler. The integral of e to the x, which can be solved just using basic integration. So we took this complicated integral of x times e to the x, and we used integration by parts to rewrite it in a much simpler way, which we can just integrate using basic you know, integration. So let's continue. We have x times e to the x being subtracted by the integral of e to the x, and the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. And don't forget, we always need to put our plus c. Don't forget about your constant. So this is our final answer. If your teacher is really picky, you can simplify this even further. Both of these terms have an e to the x in common, so you can factor out an e to the x. So let's do that. If we factor out an e to the x inside of the parentheses, we're left with an x minus 1. And once again, you can't forget about your plus c. So this is the solution to our example. I want to go over another example. And I don't want to make this video incredibly long, so I'm going to talk about this in my next video. 
Now let's say we have the integral of e to the x multiplied by the sine of x dx. Now this is another example where we need to use uh, integration by parts. So stay tuned for my next video where I'll be going over this example. And I really hope that this gave, this gave you a better idea on integration by parts. Um, I hope you're enjoying my videos, and I will see you in my next one.